where are the good guys? Are the good guys in the universities, in the bars, in the corporate jobs? Where are they? They seem to have disappeared completely. Ah, <gasps> oh, God. These are the questions that many women are asking today. And I hear you really from the bottom of my heart. I was looking for the guy for me everywhere. And I was doing everything that you would have thought that it was necessary to have the guy get on a diet, get a shorter skirt, uh, do the hair differently, put my makeup and uh, oh yeah, of course I did internet dating and uh, speed dating and uh, all that never worked. All that never worked. Never worked. It caught me into relationships that were absolutely horrible, uh, very short term and uh, very bad ones. If you meet a guy in a bar, what are the chances that he could be an alcoholic? What are the chances that you will be starting to become an alcoholic? And one night stand, what are the chances that you will see that person again? Next morning he will wake up with massive sense of disgust. Thus, in the world of making a plan and hustle to get a boyfriend, you will never find the guy. You see, it is not in which location the guy is, it is in which vibration the guy is. If we are to understand reality, we need to start seeing reality with different eyes. Let's quote Nikola Tesla for this. He said, If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. The right guy is not going to appear when you are in the vibration of need, in the vibration of desperation, in the vibration of unworthiness. No, he, he is not going to appear. As many bars, parties, uh, courses you join, he will not see you. Even if you are in the same room, this wonderful man that could be the love of your life and the father of your children, is not going to appear. What do you need to do? Because that is the question. Everybody asks me, what did you do, Blanca? What do I need to do? Well, that is the ninja stuff. You don't need to do, you need to be. What happens is that women have been leaving stories, identities, that have been inherited. The stories that society has been telling us for quite a while. And we are believing them. The story that men are bad. Yeah, of course there are rapists. Yes, I even met one. <laughs> uh, but what's a percentage of them? Are all of them bad? I tell you, that's not true. Uh, most of the men that I know are honest, are moral, are kind, are patient. Yes. In which story, in which frequency, in which vibration you are living in. It is exactly like a television or like a radio. When you change the frequency, you see a complete different reality. There are different lifelines. In one lifeline, there is plenty of lovely, heart-centered men. In another lifeline, 
There are men who are despicable and selfish and lazy. In which lifeline you, would you like to be? You can change that. And the way to change it is by changing the way you vibrate and resonate with reality. You can see in which lifeline you are by how you talk. You can tell in which lifeline you are by seeing how your girlfriends talk about men. Do you think men are important? Like for what? <laughs> You can see which lifeline you are by seeing what kind of men you find. How can you change in which vibration, in which lifeline you inhabit? You have to change how you talk about yourself and about the world. You need to change the story that you tell about yourself, who you are, what is what you deserve. And this is big. It's not about just uh, one day saying, I deserve everything. <laughs> because you will not believe it. Your subconscious will not believe it. It is not enough to say, hey, uh, men are lovely from one day to the other. It takes intention and practice. To shift lifeline, you need to shift who you think you are. You need to shift your identity. It's just exactly like smoking. If you say, well, I'm not going to smoke, and you count the days, one day not smoking, two days not smoking, you're still a smoker. But if you say, I don't smoke, you don't smoke and you will never smoke again. That's it. So to change the lifeline where the lovely heart-centered men are, you need to change your self-concept and the concept of reality at large. In this reality, I am fill in the blank. Who is a person who attracts men who are a bless to this planet? Who is she? Is she kind or is she aggressive? If she poises, is she soft or is she is... Is she open to receive or she already knows everything? Does she talk well about men or she's trying to defeat the patriarchy? Who does she hang out with? And the other side is not just about you, but how do you see the world? Do you see the world? Do you see men as a bunch of idiots? Do you see them as unnecessary waste? Or do you see them as people full of possibility? People who are actually contributing and creating beautiful things. What do you see? What are you open to see? So it is very interesting because this is a combination of what you see of your perception, what do you filter from reality, and your expression, your throat. And I will direct you to another video that uh, I made here that you love. The throat is connected with your womb. Your womb and your throat create reality. 
you remember in the Bible it says that at first it was the verb, the word. And just with words, with sound, reality was created. The, the place of creation in the body of the woman is the womb and is connected with how we speak. So the way we speak is the way we create. As you sing, your reality will change. As you sing, you will connect with your creative center that is the womb. And this will help you change. Lifeline. Do you want to do this work with me? I have a program that I have created to change lifeline, to change the stories of I'm not good enough, I am bad, to change the stories that we women have been telling to ourselves for centuries and keep telling to ourselves and stories that keep us without being embodying that leadership of love that we should, could, really embody to change not just our lives, but really the future of humanity. If you would like to join us, if you cannot wait to see your life full of love and bliss and that father of your children and that life that is soft and sweet and in flow, join us. It is called Reveal Your Radiance. That is what we will be doing. We will lift the veil that is preventing you to see how radiant and magnetic you are. And for the world to really see you. The link is below. I hope you can join us. Looking forward to meeting you and I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you.